six of what I call my Chronicles of Brooklyn, New York. The Republic of Brooklyn, New York. It started way back with the first film, 1986, She's Gotta Have It. 1989, Do the Right Thing. Crooklyn, Clockers, He Got Game, and now Red Hook Summer. Clark is a wonderful actor. He's one of the great American actors working today. And most of you probably know Clark from his, the trilogy with, with David Simon. No, you know, people talk about The Wire and Treme, but it started with The Corner. The Corner, and then as Detective Lester Freeman in The Wire, and now he plays the Mardi Gras Indian in Treme. And the staple of David Simon's work are their ensemble pieces, which is great, both for an actor you know, David's very democratic, so he's got to spread the stuff around 15, you know, 15 people in the cast. So you get lost in the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> but I knew that he was such a great actor that given the role where he has to carry a film, he would step up. And it was very important to have a, an act of his greatness because it is a testament to his ability as an actor and his humanity and his heart that people come out of this theater conflicted. I found out, got his number, called him up. He was shooting Treme. They were finishing up. And I said, I'm going to come down there tomorrow. I mean, I, I said, when's your next day off? He said, tomorrow. I said, I'm going to come down tomorrow. And I'm going to come to your door, give you the script. Two hours, you got to read it. Because I got to get back to New York. And? He called me after an hour. And he said, let's go. For the three leads for the kids, Jules Brown, who plays Flick, Tony Lysayef, who plays Chaz, and Sincere Peters, who plays the young Blessing Road during the molestation scene. They all went to my old junior high school. There's a great drama teacher there. His name is Mr. Edward Robinson. And I knew once James and I wrote the script, I knew I could sit in the back of Mr. Robinson's class and find the three leads. So I just sat in the back of the class four or five times. After the fourth time, they then began to ask, why are you here? My next film is going to be, we're shooting film. Mm -hmm. But here's reality. I financed this film myself. Yeah. I, just bought, I just bought a Sony F3 camera. And we had to shoot it in 18 days. Mm -hmm. As you know, everybody knows here, uh, budget determines how many days you shoot. And we shot in a radius of like 10 blocks. Yeah. So yeah. we would have any, you know, lose hours on company moves. You know, this is a new day, and if you, and, and we all know, uh, you don't adapt, you perish. And I tell my students all the time that any time there's any obstacle, you should not let the obstacle stop you. If, if any institution, whether it be Hollywood, whoever it is, the networks, cable, they should not be the ones that say you can't tell your story. Well, one of my biggest influences was Martin Scorsese. And it's funny because the first Martin Scorsese I ever saw, my mother took me to see Mean Streets. <laughs> my father hated movies, jazz musician. So she, I was my mother's movie date, mm -hmm. and she would drag me to stuff. I didn't want to go. I went kicking and screaming, but I always ended up saying thank you. And uh, while I was at NYU, he showed After Hours, mm -hmm. Scorsese, and afters I went up to him and told him I was a film student. He's he he is he's from NYU also, right. and we've been friends ever since. That was even before She's Gonna Have It came out. When I was in film school, Kurosawa was doing publicity for Ron. And this article really changed everything for us, me for filmmaking. I think it was a second of my third year in NYU grad film school. And the journalist asked Kurosawa, I'm paraphrasing, he said, you were the great, one of the greatest filmmakers ever, a master filmmaker. Is your film Ron? I think he might have been 84, 85 at the time. So don't shoot me if it's the wrong age. And the journalist asked, Kurosawa, what else do you have to learn? <laughs> and Kurosawa said, there's a universe yeah. of knowledge of filmmaker that's what I have to learn. So when Kurosawa said that, and I'm a second year film student, that was like a bolt of lightning. Yeah. So everything I do, 
is about learning. 